Inventory files can be a great time saver for you. By putting your inventory in Excel format, you can manage your product listings in bulk rather than one by one. In this video, we'll show you how to use some advanced features of inventory files, such as using the advanced option, building a customized template, the delete feed function, and the partial update function. Let's start with the advanced option for generating a template. This will give you all the optional attributes you can fill out to enhance your listing. Follow the same process you would to select your item types for a light template. But instead of checking light, click Advanced. This will give you an Excel file with all required attributes and all optional and preferred attributes. First, select your product type. Once that's entered, you'll see all the attributes highlighted. Required attributes will have a red border, optional attributes will have a blue border, and preferred attributes will have a yellow border. As you fill out each attribute, the borders will turn green. As you can see, there are many more attributes available in the advanced version. These all help improve your offer to buyers by giving them the additional information they might be looking for. Next, let's look at how to customize inventory files to better fit your needs. There are two ways to do this. First, you can customize your files by selecting different item types that you need to upload. For this example, we'll select all pans and hiking day packs, which will give us two different product types. Second, you can choose which attribute groups you'd like to have in your file. We know that having all attributes in an advanced sheet can be both daunting and time consuming. So for this example, we'll use the custom option instead of advanced. Here, you can see the various attribute groups that correspond to the color-coded groups of attributes you saw in the advanced file. From here, you can select the groups you think you'll need. This will automatically include your required attributes, so don't worry about accidentally excluding those. Now let's take a look at the sheet. As you can see, when you select the appropriate product type, it will show you the relevant fields for the selected type and gray out those that don't apply. The drop-downs for each field will also reflect the appropriate values for that product type. Next, let's go over the delete and partial update functions. These can be useful functions for bulk edits to your inventory. If you ever need to delete your products in bulk, you can run a delete feed. This is useful if you are discontinuing seasonal items or no longer offer certain items for sale, input incorrect information during your first go at adding products, or you want to change a product SKU. To do this, you must first delete the item, then resubmit with the updated SKU. To run a delete feed, follow these steps. First, type delete into the corresponding update slash delete column next to the products you'd like to delete. If you have other products listed in the file that you are not deleting, be sure all other information, like price and quantity, is up to date. All information is updated in your inventory when you upload your file. When you're done, save your file. To avoid any accidents, you can alternatively save this as a separate file and remove rows with items you don't want to delete. Once your file is saved, upload it to the Add a Products via Upload page in Seller Central. Allow time for your file to process before uploading any additional files. Seems easy enough, right? Let's take it a step further. What if you only want to make a quick change to one or two attributes of your products, but don't want to fill out the entire inventory file? In this case, you can use the partial update feed to update single attributes for existing listings in your inventory. To run a partial update feed, follow these steps. First, Fill out all the SKUs you'd like to update in the SKU column. Next, fill out the attributes you'd like to update. In this example, we want to update the product's prices and quantities. Then, type partial update in the update slash delete column. When you're done, save your file and upload it to the Add a Products via Upload page in Seller Central. These advanced inventory file features can be a great time saver. If you want to keep learning more about our listing tools, please check out our other videos. Thanks for watching!